Who do you think knows you best? A parent? A friend? Yourself? What if you learned that it was none of the above? In fact, they might not even be a real person. Biometric data has become the most powerful lock and key for personal identity, creating security and convenience for us online and in real life. But amidst the marvels of technological advancement and the risks that come with that, we must ask ourselves, how do we keep our identity safe? Bio means life and metric means measurement. So anything we can measure about humans, from our physical bodies to our behavioral patterns to our mental state, that can involve fingerprint, faces, gait analysis, signatures, voice, pattern recognition, as well as our communication. So when we write text or talk to our friends or express our opinion on papers, on articles, or on social media, we have unique patterns that can be tracked. Over the past decade, artificial intelligence and deep learning has advanced the way the human identity can be analyzed. Anytime you travel abroad, you will go through several biometric sensors, tracking everything from your face to even the way you walk. This information is then stored in your passport and social security databases. We people of habits and we have very specific perceptions of the world around us and they are unique, almost as unique as our fingerprints. We use this information to generate new types of data around person, which can tell our gender or our emotional state just by very subtle hints about well, how frequently I go online, which social medias I visit, which images I like and which musical pieces I like. So that brings huge advantage to targeted advertisement, political purposes for polling of the population. The Biometric Technologies Lab at the University of Calgary is focusing on developing ethical decision-making systems, helping us understand, protect, and empower our communities along the way. Our lab is very well positioned internationally known as a top biometric research lab in the world. So we have a number of collaborative projects in the domains of medicine, social sciences, social justice. My mandate is to bring together the different faculties and different researchers in order to be effective in solving important societal problems. Research with the community, for the community. Working towards addressing issues in mental health, enhancing accessibility to healthcare resources, and generating personalized care plans for individuals seeking help. Or rehabilitation, using deep learning models and connect sensors to help pinpoint the most effective exercises for injury recovery. And quality of life, aiming to restore seniors' independence by implementing remote sensors in their living spaces. These sensors monitor vital signs, enabling prompt responses to falls or medical emergencies. The misuse of biometric data can also pose significant risks to individual privacy, security, and freedom. The more our private information is stored and shared across devices and services, the more susceptible it is to being compromised and hacked, leaving users vulnerable to identity theft. We need to know the tools of how to protect ourselves and be very certain of how much information we provide through social media, signing into reward programs. There's a lot of ways right now that somebody can create your fake identity by just using generative AI or deep learning algorithms. And we try to protect and prevent them from generating those fake facial images based on our videos or image records. We have a privacy act that looks at how information about person should be used and that's why in most of the places, if there is a video camera being recorded, you will see the sign on the wall that you've been recorded. We simply need to live within this new reality of biometric data and do the best we can to mitigate this fairly complex and challenging world. We need to use technology for good.